Welcome back. Uh, time for our first major conversation right here on The Breakfast. My name is Kofi Bartels. Once again, I guess it's starting by to do justice to the topic. But let's quickly uh, remind you that the Federal Inland Revenue Service uh, has announced that it collected over 10 trillion naira in tax revenue last year, 2022. This is said to be the highest in the history of the Federal Inland or Internal Revenue Service. Now, the service made this known in its uh, FIRS 2022 performance re update. FIRS 2022 performance update, a report signed by its executive chairman, Mohammed uh, Nami, and released to the public yesterday after uh, his briefing with President Mohammed Buhari. Uh, he gave reasons. Uh, why the service did not meet its targets, uh, interestingly, even though this was uh, uh, the highest in its history. Um, he said that, uh, uh, he pointed finger rather at distractions and waivers as being responsible for the failure of the Federal Internal or Inland Revenue Service to meet uh, its target. He also lamented that uh, distractions from several government agencies through instituted court cases, petitions and judgments granted um, to these uh, petitioners contributed to the service not meeting its target. He, however, uh, expressed optimism that the service will do uh, better in 2023. Now, joining us this morning to discuss the issue of revenue generation within the borders of Nigeria, we have uh, Gabriel Folusho Fasoto. He is the managing director, a partner of uh, Gabe Fasoto uh, Co., He's also the past president of the Chartered Institute of Taxation, Nigeria. Uh, good morning, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Good morning, viewers. Good morning. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, um, how do you receive this news that the uh, FIRS has uh, um, raked in the largest uh, revenue in a calendar year in the history of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? It is a news that uh, the tax industry received with joy, great joy, gladness. The reason being that we are going where we ought to be about 20 years ago. We are heading for that destination. So it's a good news. From 2020 revenue of 4.93 trillion of uh, generated by FRA to so 6.4 trillion generated in 2021. So 10.1 trillion generated in 2022 is a very lovely news. Kudos to FRA. Um, the, uh, the head of the, the, the body is he's lamenting the fact that they couldn't meet their target of 10.44 a trillion naira. Um, he cited certain factors. Um, in your opinion, is this is was this target realistic? Um, looking at where Nigeria is coming from uh, as far as revenue for the year two thousand and twenty one was concerned. In my opinion, and in the opinion of, of most tax experts, ten point four four billion is an understatement when it comes to fair tax revenue target for FRS. Why? So many things contribute to high yield in terms of tax revenue. Government that budgeted 10.44, the first thing we have to ask is what was the basis of even the 10.44 trillion budgeted for revenue from FRS? I believe that it didn't follow the expected scientific approach. It's just like, oh, you have achieved this thing last year, this uh, last year, this year, you should achieve this. Did we take into consideration so many microeconomic uh, situations? No. Now, the, uh, the, uh, the chairman cited two, uh, two issues that divide us from being able to achieve the target. The first one is the is what he described as distraction. And Nigeria should address this issue frontally. If there is no law, there cannot be tax. So it means that the starting point for any good tax and efficient 
system, a tax system in any country, should be from the law setting up the tax system. And that law starts from the constitutional provisions. We are aware that not all our tax types currently are backed up by, by reliable uh, tax provisions. And that has led to some litigation in court. Uh, VAT, for example, that's value added tax. I think governments should not shy away from its responsibility of providing good constitutional data for our all types of our taxes in the country. Once we have good laws backing up all our taxes, then government is good to go to be able to rake in enough uh, revenue. And we have to know the basis for, you know, being anxious to make tax as the real base of uh, revenue generation of government. All over the world, we have, uh, we have elected people into governance of our country. They need to provide us certain services. How do they fund it? Tax is the only sustainable way of uh, funding government expenses. And if the tax system is not okay, government will find it difficult to actually deliver its promises. So that is why we must ensure that the tax system is okay for the country. Once we are able to uh, put the constitutional framework in the proper perspective, the second issue mentioned by the chairman is the waiver that was granted to uh, uh, some taxpayers and he cited uh, 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 1.8 trillion being lost to in quotes, lost in quotes to waivers. Waivers uh, are there in every good tax system, but the problem with results in Nigeria is that we do not monitor the utilization, effective utilization of the waivers granted. That is why you are having so many companies that are granted waivers as pioneer companies for only four years and renewed for another uh, uh, three years or so. Obviously now some of them were still enjoying those tax waivers because of lack of monitoring. Thank God recently we were told that uh, that area was being monitored and then government will look into that and do justice to that. So if we monitor the waivers granted properly to so carry out cost benefit analysis, we will be able to know to have good views of tax waivers. Hmm. I've said that for the distraction. Uh, mentioned by the chairman, once we overhaul our uh, the loss or the loss governmentalization in the country, we'll be able to surmount that. So, with those two being out of the way, we will say that sky is the limit uh, uh, for FIRS to be able to rake in enough revenue for government. And if I may add this, we are quick to look only at the federal government when we are looking at uh, tax revenue. Uh, Nigeria is a federation and it comprises of, uh, of uh, federal government and subnational, that's the state government and even the local government. We have to realize that the performance of each of the state government contributes to the performance of Nigeria as a whole. Whenever tax is collected at federal level, it is shared among all the 36 states of the federation, including Abuja as well as the 774 local governments in the country. So we should look at tax in totality, how we are using it at federal, uh, state, and local government uh, level, and how we generate the other All right, Mr. Fashoto, are you there, please? Can you hear us? Mr. Fashat, are you there, please? Hello, sir. Okay, well, um. Presented by some of these So we should also. All right, I'm told that uh, the network has interrupted uh, our guest. Uh, we. We will aim to get him back on uh, line so that we can have this conversation. Very interesting uh, points that he had been making. Um, I was going to ask him, you know, next what 
uh, you know, it's responsible for this, uh, this record. You know, of course, we're talking about the factors that uh, stopped or prevented the FIRS from achieving uh, its target of 10.44 um, uh, 10 um, trillion naira. I mean, it, it got 10.1 trillion naira, but it's, it's not too far. Um, now, this, this is the second uh, time, the second consecutive year, that the Federal Inland Revenue Service will be beating it, breaking its, its record. Uh, in 2021, they broke the record of 2022. In fact, they achieved the over 100% um, uh, target performance uh, in the year 2021. Okay, they achieved the target in the year 2021, beating the record of 2020. Sorry about that. And this was it's quite interesting uh, coming from the Federal Inland Revenue Service. Um, I think it was in 2020 that they crossed the six trillion, 2022, right, 2021, sorry, that they crossed the uh, six trillion naira mark for the first time in history. All right, for the first time, uh, six trillion naira had never been reached. And you look at 2021, things are going, <laughs> you know, are not too, are not better off, let's say, with the economy, if you want to call it that. Um, but they are making more money. They've got into costs across the 10 million, 10 trillion a narrow mark for the first time. Um, with all the economic difficulties, the uh, inflation in the country, you know, the wars of the Naira, people losing jobs, um, you know, uh, no petrol, you know, businesses suffering, GDP, I don't know, the latest figures are interest rate hikes. How come the central bank is able, um, sorry, the Federal Inland Revenue Service is able to make such an amount of money and break their record by a huge gap. I, I, I'm told we have a guest back online. Mr. Fashato, are you there, please? Yes, I'm here. All right, all right. Sincere apologies, sir. Uh, sincere apologies, please. Um, so, so, what, in your opinion, uh, is responsible for this record set by um, the Federal Inland Revenue Service? Uh, whilst you, you were off the air when we lost you for a bit, um, I did I reminded our viewers that uh, this is the second consecutive year the FIRS will be breaking its record. In 2021, they collected uh, more than six trillion naira for the first time in the history of the country, as far as revenue is concerned, and uh, performing, uh, recording over 100% performance uh, of their target, um, achieving their target. So, so what's responsible, despite the hostile, uh, you know, economic climate, achieving this this record? What's what are the factors responsible for this? The number one reason, as stated by the chairman, and which is known to every taxpayer, system. all over the world, where automation has been introduced into the tax system, the increase in tax revenue you, you, you get is always more than double. And in Nigeria, uh, there is no exception to that. So automation has contributed a great deal into this uh, good performance. Then, number two, as recommended by the study group on reform of tax system in the year 2002-2003, the Federal Inland Revenue Service is now taking the taxpayers, treating them as customers, as private sector will treat customers, they are beginning to treat taxpayers as customers. And the normal balance is that customers are always right. They, they attend to the, the taxpayers yearly, cautiously, and then they took them through the system, thereby encouraging the tax. They also cited uh, the issue of data centric uh, uh, tax system, whereby they, they mine data about the taxpayers. And they are using that data to be able to manage the affairs of the tax payers. Even though, personally, I believe that FRS needs to do a, a lot in this area. The total tax system, when it was introduced in early 90s, the purpose is to use data of different tax payers who have never known the offices of the tax offices to be able to bring them to tax. But this area is not yet being effectively used. 
by the tax authorities, including federal inland revenue service. I will urge them to make good use of this uh, data mining and be able to use it effectively. A lot of people, they don't pay taxes, but they carry out transactions that attract taxes, whereby the uh, taxes, certain percentage of whatever they pay would have been deducted as well. So they would have received the information related to these tax payers. That will be an avenue for bringing them into the tax net. So if they use that one, it will be helpful. Then we also we should also have data intelligence. That is, before you ask somebody to come for tax audit or tax investigation, you must have certain information which is not probably known to that tax payer that tax office is aware of. Some people they throw party lavish. Some companies, they do celebrate 100 years of service and uh, some other things. There will be intelligence reports uh, for the uh, Federal Inland Revenue Service. Once they gather this information, they can now invite such taxpayers for them to show the tax payment status. If it is below what the law says, then they will be able to raise more revenue for the government. So that is uh, part of the reasons why why I believe that the FRS has recorded good reports. All right. Um, the activities of the Federal Inland Revenue Service are not without uh, uh, controversy. I mean, I've had the opportunity to speak to some business uh, men and women in Nigeria, some entrepreneurs, some private sector people who allege uh, victimization and uh, you know, uh, yeah, victimization by officials of the FIRS. Um, you know, the ease of doing business reforms that were implemented you know, uh, from the presidential initiative led by the vice president, you know, when that was really, really, really happening and was being implemented as well uh, as it should have, um, we saw that there were some reforms and it was easier for businesses to do, uh, to relate with the FIRS. Um, these days I hear, you know, one or two complaints from the business community of uh, victimization. Um, they receive an email, a letter, uh, a notice saying that they're supposed to pay XYZ amount of uh, millions of naira, they can't reconcile, you know, and then they claim that, okay, people are saying, if you can't, you don't want to pay that, just give us something to settle us and then we will uh, uh, we'll clear it or we'll reduce it for you. Um, now, these are unsubstantiated claims or unverified because we've not reached out to the FIRS, you know, for their response on this. But I would like you to talk about this because you're an expert and a stakeholder in the sector. I quite agree with you, and uh, some of those claims, some of them are genuine. But you have to know that out of every 12, there must be a Judas. Uh, in every tax system, there are bad eggs. And I believe that FRS is working relentlessly to remove the bad eggs uh, from among the staff. Um, I agree that the level of customer support or taxpayer support still needed to be upgraded at FRS level. Um, a lot of complaints that uh, once you show your face at the tax office, then you have brought yourself, uh, yourself on yourself so many problems. Instead of you sitting down at home, not going to the tax office, um, uh, uh, you are better off doing that than going to the tax office and say you want to pay your tax. But I believe that FRS is actually addressing that. Uh, this will be improved upon by training and retraining of the staff of the relevant tax authorities, that is FRS and State Internal Revenue Service. Once they train them properly about the tax profession, it will assist them in being able to handle uh, taxpayers. Even if you suspect that a type of tax, there are provisions in the law on how you can bring them to the tax net and how you can optimize the tax collection from them. On the part of the taxpayer, I will urge them to make use of tax professionals because most people will just go to tax office and say, oh, this is the tax I want to pay, without even having cognizance of the provisions of the law. But if you make use of tax professionals, they will be able to guide you as engage uh, some taxpayers before, whereby they, are, they, they have fixed the amount they were remitting to the tax offices. And when we came in, we told them that, you know, you can pay less than this and you will still be covered legally. 
That is what we call tax planning and tax avoidance under the law, as different from tax evasion. Tax evasion is where you are not paying tax and you are breaching the provisions of the law. Whereas tax uh, avoidance is where you are reducing the, uh, the quantum of the taxes you are paying and you are still within the law. There are provisions in the law uh, which a tax expert can take advantage of on your behalf as a taxpayer. So I urge taxpayers to make use of the tax professionals. Every member of the Total Organization of Nigeria, they are tax professionals. If you engage some of them, and even if you engage the tax institute itself, you don't have enough money to pay high, uh, high amounts of money to pay a tax expert. If you approach the institute, they will be able to assist you in getting you a tax uh, expert who will, who will assist you, just like some small and medium scale enterprises are currently doing. And so they are taking advantage of that uh, leeway introduced by the institute. On but, the part of the government, I, uh, they are now putting human faith into the tax system, and I urge them to improve upon that. Uh, the tax promise introduced by SRS is a laudable project, but a lot still needs to be done because we are still having issue of glitches when you are when you are approaching when you are making use of the tax promise. So if the, the perfect everything of the uh, government is better for this. All right. Um, uh, very quickly, very quickly, sir, because we're out of time. In a few sentences, um, how can the FIRS meet its targets for 2023? Uh, are we looking at uh, maybe, for instance, widening, uh, uh, improving the tax tax net, and you know, dragging more Nigerians into the tax net? Um, a lot of people don't pay don't pay taxes. Don't believe in paying tax. Uh, for obvious reasons. Very quickly, please. You are just, you are just said it, bringing more people, more, more people into the tax net. A lot of Nigerians are currently not in the tax net. If they succeed in bringing them to the tax net, it will assist. And the automation will facilitate that one in hmm. All right, thank you very much. Um, uh, it's been a thrill having you. We should have you soon again on the program um, and uh, we sincerely appreciate your time and of course your expert analysis as always um, on this issue of taxation and revenue in Nigeria. Um, Mr. Gabriel Folusho Fashoto is the managing partner of Gabe Fashoto and Company. Uh, he's a past president of the CIT and the Charter Institute of Taxation in Nigeria. Uh, he joined us via Zoom from Abuja. Thank you very much for your time sir. Have a nice day. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, it's still the breakfast of Plus TV Africa. January's Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. We'll be back after the short break to talk cervical cancer awareness and prevention. Please stay with us.